All right, so we're working on a project out here. I need to get 36 inches down and one foot across. The problem is I'm running across all this, okay? This is limestone, but when I'm getting down here, I'm into a boulder. So what do you do? Well, if you don't have the power tools to get past this, which if your hole is big enough, you can use a demo hammer. Uh, if you have a long enough attachment, an auger is just gonna skip on this more than likely here to chew your bit up. So you're gonna need a digging bar. Now, thankfully, my neighbor has a digging bar, so he let me borrow it. Um, and what this does, let me unjam this from here, is on one end, you have a surface that will jam in and cut. On the other end, if you so need to, the striking surface, hence 10 pounder, right? Uh, generally speaking, you're gonna get a two-handed grip. And jam this into whatever you need to break up over and over again and this is going to do the job for you now this also works for tree stumps the reason why i know is because that's why my neighbor got it we had a stubborn tree stump we were trying to get out i was helping him out got this bad boy and we we're able to break it up it took a lot of work these are you know classic tools that a lot of us have been around but if you haven't been around the trades and into uh, construction you may not have used them a lot with this guy Definitely take your time. Uh, keep your hands away from being too choked high on a sledgehammer if you're using it, because if you hit this edge right here, you're gonna annihilate your fingers. Um, what can I say? It's a great tool. Pardon all the noise. I am around people. It's a real, you know, project going on. But yeah, here's what we're working with. This guy's gonna be a T. So this is gonna be my post. This is gonna be the T. It'll be gusseted and I can't say the rest of the project because little ears are around me and I don't want to ruin it but yeah that's the gist of it it's a man tool uh, nothing against women you can use it too but just know it's going to work you so that's how you do it without a power tool all right so I decided I'm going to add on a little bit of inf information on this I already know in the comment section I'm going to have somebody or multiple people say, you've never used one of those before. That's a cheap one or you'd never use it. You know what? You're going to use what you got. These are readily available to most people. I used to run these all the time. I used to dig trenches, lay conduit, pour concrete, test concrete. I've done it all. All that stuff. And did eight hours a day. Know how to pace myself and to use one correctly. If any advice I can give you, uh, do wear gloves. These type of tools, you know, digging bar, a sledge, anything like that, over and over, are going to tear your hands to shreds. You can use dirt if you have good, uh, good dirt to keep your hands from chafing, but otherwise, you have to suck it up. You're going to get blisters. Uh, I'm wearing steel toe boots just in case anything does go wrong. Hey, yeah, there's always a possibility, but keep this sucker away from your foot. Uh, your feet should I say when you're digging because you do not want to hit your feet with that you'll chop your toes off um, Past that be safe keep this away from your noggin. You don't want to lose part of your brain and yeah, hit that subscribe button I'll see you for more